Hello, brothers and sisters. This is Lisa, and I just wanted to come on and share confirmation with the word I uploaded earlier today from Glenda Lomax. Yesterday, I was um, in my living room, and I have a couple of my Bibles sitting in there with me, and I have in one of them, there's several blank pages in the front and at the very back of the Bible, and so I have written in them the Lord's Prayer and and uh, warnings, different things that I feel led from the Lord to write in there to explain about so that whoever finds the Bibles, once we are taken out of here and we, we are raptured, then whoever finds them will have some explanation of what's going on and why people disappeared and so on. And one of the things I felt led to write in there yesterday in some of those pages was a warning to those who are left behind, whoever's reading that to know and warn others that if um, your loved ones or family are ever threatened to, to uh, take the mark or they will harm your loved ones or family or whoever it is that is w with you, um, do not take that mark no matter what, because once you take that mark, you cannot reverse that decision and you will never have salvation after that. You will never be able to enter the kingdom of heaven and be with Jesus once that mark is ever taken by anyone. So I've given that dire warning, do not take that mark no matter what, even if they're threatening your children's lives or or friends or whomever do not take that mark. And there are several messages as well that I have heard of and seen and uh, where there are going to be people who are going to demand those who've been left behind to denounce Jesus, to deny him. And if you don't deny him, then they're going to, the, they'll hold your loved one right there in front of you and threaten their lives. And the thing is, I, I've had it put on my heart that once you deny Jesus, if you did, they're going to kill you anyway. They, they just want you to deny his name because he warns us in the scriptures that if you deny me, I will deny you before my father. So that is another important dire warning. Do not deny Jesus no matter what. Because if we deny his name, he will deny us before our before the Father. And so I think that's a very important warning for all to hear because there are unfortunately even Christians who are going to be left behind. We know of that from the parable of the ten virgins from Matthew 25. And we also know that from the scripture of Matthew 7, verse 22, because people will say, Lord, Lord, didn't we prophesy like many are going to say, you know, didn't we prophesy in your name and drive out demons? And, and he's going to reply and say, um, I never knew you. Depart from me, you workers of lawlessness. So there are people who do call Jesus Lord, but he's going to tell them, depart from me. I never knew you. And so it is believers as well who are going to be left behind, unfortunately. And so if you are, if you are left behind and any of your family, your loved ones, your children, adult children, teenagers, whomever, whomever you may find being left behind with you, do not let the threat of their lives coerce you into taking that mark and talk with your left behind loved ones and warn them what will happen if they take that mark to not let the enemy use use you to coerce them into doing something that decides their eternity forever and ever. So I just, 
I hope that whoever hears these messages and they find they're in that circumstance, once the rapture happens, they will not take that mark, no matter what, or ever deny Jesus, no matter what. So anyway, I just wanted to share that with all of you. I pray you all have a beautiful day in the Lord. God bless each and every one of you, and I will see you either next video or in the air. Bye-bye.